Good morning, West Pacific Market Analytics, and it's Glenn here starting off the day on Wednesday, April the 17th. Quick disclaimer, let's get straight into it. These charts and updates are for educational and entertainment purposes only. Let's see what I got to show you today, just real quickly. I'm going to get into some trades with you tomorrow. We're going to look at probably nothing but trading models tomorrow and Friday. And there's a few things I want to show you. Now, I was talking to my members about this key model. Now, I think it's really important what we talked about yesterday, and I was talking to my members about this again this morning. You know, this idea of humility towards your work and full faith, belief, and trust in everything you do. So not only that, but I'm saying full faith, trust, and belief in everything in data modeling as, it, you know, basically faith, belief, and trust are everything in life. So we're saying, you know, going forward, our core value is going to be all about understanding price and time by having full faith, belief, and trust in the data modeling. Because the data modeling, as I said to you today, is just getting rid of your humility. This isn't about me. This isn't about my opinion. This isn't about anything, okay? This is basically about just trusting full faith, belief, and trust in what we see, okay? So it's not about me, and I'll get more into it perhaps down the road, how this whole data pro modeling, data science program began. But that is such a key point. It's kind of interesting because we're going to talk about the V-channel. The V-channel is an extremely important technical uh, curve in the model. And I looked up the letter V in Scripture, and it was the number one thing to come up. And the word voice is far and above any other word in Scripture. So when you think about that, to me, the data speaks its voice. And it's interesting that when I started on this project and created the V channel, uh, here's that letter V for V. Now, do I trust V? I completely trust V. So if you look at in this model, you can see we're modeling this red here. And you notice how the V, the channel uh, is always the pink line, which I call the momentum of circulation in this curving, slower, turtle-moving uh, blue line that does not change once it's rolled over like this that I call the directional change. Now, the V-channel from a liquidity or velocity standpoint is actually the velocity of momentum. Momentum is typically sediment-based. And then we have a different type of velocity or the velocity of the liquidity. So when we're looking at the blue, we're not necessarily looking at liquidity, but we're looking at the velocity of the liquidity. Just like when you talk about the velocity of money, you can print money, but how quickly is it getting into the circulation of the system? So we can see that we had this 2020 corrective move. And you notice in the corrective moves, we had these spikes down in trend. And when the trend was rising, the price of the market was rising. So here again, we had this spike down, right? And you notice that we left the V-channel on the 2020 move. But the problem with that is we didn't get the bear cross in the V-channel up here. And the V-channel was still forming up here. So off that low, it had to rally. It had to rally back here into the V-channel, which you see it did do. And then once it came into the V-channel, we then had the 2022 corrective move. And again, you see that same idea into that corrective move with the trend coming down. And then look, the trend has been rallying since we got to this low in the trend. You notice the red started back up and we had the low in the market. It's interesting, right to the trend of the red indicator. But you notice how red was holding above. And then we came up here, we tested the dot curve, and then it wanted to push higher. And I'll show you in a moment why I feel it wanted to push higher. Now, what's going to be important, you see we've got the first big weekly stick developing down here. So we're going to need to see the trends start to develop down. And that's telling me that red already is pricing down here. Here's the beginning of the V channel, which puts us at the October lows. Now, let me show you a few models around this, OK? So you can see our red here hit the pink line and just on this rollover top has now hit the black line trend. So again, you can see this same idea, right? Spikes down, market down, spikes down, market down, spikes down, market down. And you see every one of these spikes was a corrective move in the market. So you can see we've rolled over here. We're going to want to see how this all sets up and develops. And again, if we push it to the full uh, data trail of this particular model, 
in 2016 we hit pink and we've now hit the black line trend this is saying that this red indicator has completed its rally out of the 2016 low and I'm not going to get into that I talked to my members about what we're modeling uh, but I don't want to get into that here on a public forum so you can see here how it is rolling over and it's going to be interesting to see how that develops now we got a signal here in this very key data model for the first time off the lows back in October you can see the trend is starting to break down you can see the blue above here we did have a break here but you see we have the blue now breaking and we have the signal now notice when we got this little break here we have a pretty aggressive looking break to the signal you see this blue line right here so you'll notice the blue line rose straight up and it's gone sideways into the entire move and it's now breaking down so we've got a breakdown there in that model now I'm putting this up because we can see the break here but it's more important is going to be this candle pattern on the weekly I never like it when we get a white candle with three black candles so next week is going to be kind of what I call a shoulder week we're going to see how it sets up uh, do we continue down the models are saying we do continue down but I'm always a bit wary when we get a three candle pattern because that could set up a white candle next week it would give us a several week counter trend rally so we're going to have to see I don't see that counter trend rally in the data but at the same time whenever I get three black candles I'm very wary now you notice we did get this three black candles set up back here and then we got another black candle and the whole thing continued down so it doesn't mean just because we have the three black candles that we're going to rally back up but I've still got this window out around May 7th so I definitely want to be wary and see how this sets up next week so I mean we're rolling off the top here but you know we're only at the top now look here's Coco right you tell me how Coco is able to do this this is when you print too much money and throw it into the system this is speculation they're going to try to paint reasons of why Coco's run this high. This has gone from 2100 to over 11,000. Okay? And why has Coco, going all the way back here to 2012, we're, we're modeling it here in red, uh, excuse me, in blue. This is the market. I always plug in the market because I like to see how it trends to things. But it's so, and I, want, I was talking to all my members yesterday about the commodity. We were looking at wheat, we were looking at corn, we were looking at soybeans. Uh, we were looking at basically the whole ag sector. Wheat and corn have broken down. We still have a uh, rolling top on going in the soybean area. But this cocoa, we're looking at coffee. Coffee looks pretty hot right now. But we're kind of watching the commodity complex. And we are going to see a lower low yet ahead in commodity. Uh, don't think, I've had a lot of people think that the low in commodity is in. It's not in. But it's interesting, this cocoa model has now hit our black line trend. And we came out of the pink line low here in 2007, excuse me, 2017. I'm calling the top in cocoa right here. If anyone's trading cocoa out there, that's a speculative run. It reminds me of the Hunt brothers cornering silver. This reminds me of somebody cornering the cocoa market because that just makes absolutely no sense. Chocolate makers are sweating over there in Switzerland. Now let's finish off with a couple of models here in energy just quickly. Don't have a lot here for you today, but again, I said the top is in on energy based on this model. And a member, a few of my members have entered the ERY trade. And you'll notice coming off the bottom out of the hit on the pink line in this finishing wedge, we've now got ERY making a very nice move up with the trend. So we're going to see how far we can ride this. Uh, we put this basically as a trade. We feel we got a very good low here. It's probably going to move up. It's probably going to chop around. I don't know. This is not something that's just going to take off, but it could because the model is speaking of a collapse like move in energy. So we want to be positioning in it and starting to build a position, in which we've done. And we're not going too big on this one. This is just a partial portion of a portfolio of some of my members that are putting that in. I see it as a very low risk trade with the way the energy model is set up. So that's all I've got here for you today. I want to come back to you tomorrow and Friday and I want to get into more models like that model to show you some of the models around the trades and how they look to be developing. Uh, again, we are playing a short in the gold sector as well. So I'll share you a few of those models. It still hasn't fully bottomed. So we're only building a position short gold right now. We're starting to build into it, so to speak, because I just see a low risk uh, uh, trade there also in the gold sector. So let's going to see how that sets up. And there's a few different ways you can trade that. We don't want to short the gold miners. 
uh, because we just don't think that's the way to go. I think the better sh to short is to take one of the ETFs that allow you to actually, actually short physical gold. But anyway, I'm out of here for now. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back at you tomorrow. Have a super, super great Wednesday. Stay positive. Believe in yourself. Believe in everything. I mean, that is ever the nemesis of everything is working on your humility, uh, not to mention a lot of areas when we look at the seven areas of sin. I'm out of here. Take care.